place. Hello, everybody. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Crikey. Faces. Well, red. it's never going to be good compared to mine, so just deal with it. I'll sit like this. <laughs> that makes you look sad. You've got to be uh, energetic. Hello, everybody. <laughs> My name is Darren. Start again. Oh, because the camera's there and we were looking away. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Darren. And I'm Graham. And I have watched 500 Days of Summer. You've seen it also, but not as <laughs> recently as I have that I yes. know of. Uh, tell us the story if you remember it, or would you like me to? A uh, young man is desperate to find love, uh, thinks he finds it, and it won't ruin the end. <laughs> well, the end it is, works for it's it. all out of order, so the end is kind of at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Things don't turn out too well as we look. Was... The opening scene is them breaking up, I think. And then it's kind of cutting back and forth oh, between right, the start yeah, of yeah. their relationship and the end of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you enjoy said film? Uh, I'm not sure how many people don't enjoy this film. There are... They, they, Three they and exist. I can name them. I, 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 I know but we... I won't. Oh, right. Hmm. Do we actually know somebody who doesn't like it? Mm, I don't know. I don't know oh, anyone that doesn't I like thought, it. Anyway, this is a big point of a stupid point. Yes, I really liked it. If that <laughs> was the question, that yeah. That was yeah. the question. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I really like Zoe Deschanel. It's a bit I'm... annoying, isn't it? Everybody says that. <laughs> it's kind of true, isn't it's it? It's not that true. It is it's a bit not true. It's not that true. It's not that true, but it's a bit true. <laughs> um, and obviously, uh, JGL is... Jason Gordon Levitt, for those who don't know. Thank you. Letters. <laughs> uh, you know, he's just great, as usual. Um, any other big names pop up? Uh, yes, uh, Agent Coulson. <laughs> right, That's a yeah. big name. That is a big name. Um, yeah, he, he pops up briefly, is it? Yeah, uh, just Clomo's twice, in there. Twice. Yeah, Chloe Moretz, yeah, yeah. She plays the younger sister. You mm -hmm. fancy her, don't you? No, I used to. No, when no, 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 I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... Before I mean, she went over 16. <laughs> no, 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 literally. It's a, it's a running joke. You wouldn't get it. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a running warning. No. Uh, <laughs> I very much like 500 Days of Summer. Thanks for asking. Uh, Sorry. Yes. Go on. What? Why? Uh, I like fantasy movies, and if it's a fantasy, it's a fantasy film, movie. Yes. The fact that uh, a relationship doesn't. A fact that a single guy <laughs> walks into a lift, and a girl says, "I like the Smiths," and then he's suddenly going out with somebody who's good enough to be an actress, looking wise. That's not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I had to suspend my disbelief. Well, I mean, for that. even JGL's good looking enough to be an act actor. Yeah. So, yeah, he is. So, do you not think that? I mean, does that add to the whole? This is a fantasy kind of world. No, I'm, I'm, or... I'm thinking I'm as good looking as him, and if it can happen to him, why hasn't it happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite compute that, I'm afraid. I know a Are lot. Are you of... saying that you find I him know, sexier? I know a great many people. Yeah. Who fancy JGL? I, I do too. I, I do. I know the people. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you're comparing yourself. And yeah, I, more people know I about haven't him. Seen... Oh, okay. So, so it's proportional. Yeah, I reckon oh. a higher percentage of people that know me. <laughs> Three. Fancy <laughs> me. Don't fancy, the, don't fancy him. Yeah, okay. We'll uh, leave, but we'll yes, leave that one out there. it's certainly not my experience in the world is <laughs> finding anybody who likes the Smiths that is oh. tolerable. <laughs> well, that's the problem. What? If you find a girl who likes the Smiths, she's probably depressive. That's so not true. Oh, the, the lyrics are hilarious. You they should are. just listen to them. They're poetically genius. Who are we just lagging off? You're uh, the one that said the Smiths are depressing. Yeah, me. <laughs> well, you. Yes, you should listen to the lyrics. The Smiths are amazing. I just think it's fun to wind you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Successful. <laughs> Honestly, anyone that says that the Smiths are used to kill yourself too, should. Oh I my think. God. <laughs> just so I don't have to hear that joke ever again. To prove again. themselves right, but to prove you... No, to prove themselves... To prove them right, to make me happy. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a very funny film in, in its own little ways. People say cold plays music... That is depressing. And Radiohead and stuff, but I disagree as well. <laughs> and Pink Floyd. Are we just talking about music now? It's not yet. We, well, no. At least the Smiths is relevant. <laughs> um, I'm sure they listen to Radiohead at some point. Not in the film. Not in the film, but together. Uh, we don't know, do we? <laughs> it was in one of the days that weren't mentioned. Uh, <laughs> the film. Yeah, carry on. Yes, it's, I, I think... It's great. That... Do you like the non-linear structure? Let me jump in there. I do. It reminds me of a sort of Hollywood version of Blue Valentine, you know, in theirs, they're not enjoying Ikea, whereas in Blue Valentine he's punching her in the face and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's kind of the same structure. And it's a bit like um, Eternal Sunshine and stuff like that. Like... Eternal Sunshine. I thought you said A Tale of Sunshine. A, a Tale of Sunshine. A Tale of Sunshine. <laughs> sounds sounds lovely. wonderful. Well, 500 Days of Summer, isn't it? Uh, a Tale of Sunshine. <laughs> summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was an alternate tile. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah. See all the teeth I have. <laughs> <laughs> Never noticed this before. No. Anyway, carry on. Uh, what was your question? <laughs> Do you like it? The film. The linear, uh, the non-linear. Yeah, kind of it's good. I like the way it contrasts. That. You yeah. know, having just liked it off. 
the uh, well, the sorry. IKEA scene that shows him being funny in IKEA and her just being frumpy and miserable about it, and then it cuts to them why that he would be doing that, and it's the first time they went to IKEA and they're having a great old time pretending it's their house and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then that kind of setup gets a bit more intense, doesn't it, with the whole expectation reality split screen? Yeah, I think we've all felt like that at some point. Yeah, the uh, the, the bad version, obviously, where uh, if you've not seen it, he goes to a party to see her, and it's on one side of the screen. It's what he hoped would happen. On the other hand, it's what actually happens. Mm -hmm. So, do you think she's a bitch? Uh, well, I think I think she gives him some false hope in the fact that she moved. Don't they all? I'm not gonna. I mean, that, that, I think that was a spoiler. Uh, I don't know, I said something sexist. Well, doing... it's revealed at the start of the film, isn't it? What happens, really? And so you, yeah. just, the, you, just kind of you just kind of forget the fact that that's happened at the start, and you start to enjoy the story. I think it's, you see it from his point knowing. of view, so you can't help but take on his yeah. hopes. So, like, when they get together, Which she is... says, I don't want a relationship, and he kind of does. So it never quite meshes, because they want different things. Yeah. But because you see it mostly from his side... You know, you want her to it, just be nice to him. Yeah, it Not seems like nasty. a waste because yeah. one of them does. And... She's consistent to what she said. Yeah. It's just, it doesn't match what he was hoping for. Yeah. So to answer your question, no. I mean, obviously she's not a bitch because it's just... If anything, he's a bit creepy. Well, let her go. Take, you know, listen to her. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know, she has wants to. Just yeah, what he's... she wants is more than one cock. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to commit. Wait, no. <laughs> That's not the case. It is the case. She doesn't want to go out with two guys at it's the same not time. She, but she doesn't want to commit to one. Well, she doesn't even want JGL's member. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she does. Does she... Oh, wait, she does sleep with him. Loads. It's been a They've while. for 500 I days. Seen... I'm not being funny, but we live in the modern times. <laughs> 500 days is, just, is enough time to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stay chased, children. <laughs> um... So, uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it was directed by Mark Webb, who's gone on to do the amazing Spider-Man films <laughs> in name only. <laughs> oh my god! Well, they are shit. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're not shit. They're just no, they are shit. Yeah, oh, no, they are right. now. They, they are, are now. We're not going to get an end. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. reboot. Oh, yeah, the first yeah, yeah. one was kind of rubbish because it was the same film as the Sam Sam Raimi one mm -hmm. with a villain change. <laughs> then the second one we were getting there, like, okay, well, it's new villains, but you know, At least hopefully the third one will pay and... off. Yeah, yeah. And well, then they're trying to make the third the one. big end of the, you know, the, the big climactic kind Honestly, of moment. Anyone that paid second... to see the Spider Man movie should get their money back, I think. Because we didn't get the end of the film. Set up as a trilogy. Yeah. There's bits. That, I mean, the, 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 it's the whole, you know, the murder of the parents and stuff like that. That was a mystery that was ongoing. Mm -hmm. And now we, it's now it's not going. Yeah. It was a boring mystery. I didn't care. Yeah. Um, it was. Yeah. Anyway, wrong, wrong film we're talking Sorry, about. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I don't know what Mark Webb's going to do next, but he's so not this point is his is first he did film. a couple of, you know, he's progressed onto worse projects. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's a bit of a bit shame. Bigger money, but less quality. Yeah. Bigger. Well, although I don't think this. I, don't, I like 500 Days of Summer, but I. Ooh, just kick the thing. I think it owes a bit of a debt to Annie Hall, the Woody Allen movie. Okay. Uh, in For the, what? What reasons? Uh, what well, she's reasons? kind of quirky ish, like Dan Keaton is in that, but mm. Dan Keaton's more likeable. And. Uh, and it's a rom-com that's not really about rom, and it's kind of disjointed, and it, you know, it's got a kind of surreal kind of humour, the way it mm. cuts. Like in this, it, in Annie Hall, he has arguments with, like, random professors that he just pulls out of nowhere to, mm. you know, prove points in cinemas <laughs> right, and stuff. Okay. And in 500 Days of Summer, Joseph Gordon-Levitt appears in, like, artsy movies <clears> to express his feelings and things in his imagination, <laughs> or does, has a music scene because he's just gotten laid. Oh, right. Do you not remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saying that as the, the, yeah, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the, the little birds and yeah, that's a good scene. A little cameo. I, the music in this is really good. The, is on the soundtrack the cameo? from is that who? A cameo? Harrison Ford. Shh. Well, he's not in it. Well, is it a cameo? No more so than a show with anything on TV in a film. Just like a poster. On yeah. The wall. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, Carry on. Yeah, the music's really good. It's almost like a musical for me. This film now because I've listened to the soundtrack so much. Can I? bring the point back to the previous one go on so what was dawn french in harry potter because she was a painting <laughs> uh but that was something she filmed for the film whereas yeah. this is footage from his old film <laughs> if that painting was composed of footage from the vicar of dibley <laughs> then uh... imagine yeah uh okay point made thank you that's all i've got to say really <laughs> about the painted lady or whatever her name is the... all of it yeah um fair enough so uh what was the uh... no i guess we're done <laughs> try but no that's where we go.